Hello, everybody. Oh, God. That music came out of nowhere, then. It's very loud. Very loud in my ears. Um. Uh, hell, here's a go. Welcome back to Poker Park 2. Beat. This is going to be a pretty so short uh, session going on here. Well, I, uh, because I got to get this done, because I just, I need to get one of these out, because I haven't had these in a week. Just being able to just kind of free this up my system. Uh, and, uh, yeah, let's play, let's play. Oh, quiz time. Oh, baby. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. First question coming up, baby. All right. This looks like taking a nap under a tree. Okay. And then a bomb came and left one berry. Then Trubbish came and left two berries. Okay. And Ruthless left one stink berry. Okay. Then Jusen took two berries. Okay. Now what was Snorlax doing under the tree? What? Was that all misdirection? Like taking a nap? What? <laughs> you just misdirect me with that? Okay. Second question. Munchlax had one berry, but he dropped it while taking a walk. Okay. But I know he felt sorry for Munchlax and gave two berries to him. Okay. Then Watchdog came by. He delivered the berry that Munchlax had dropped. All right. Munchlax was very grateful. He decided to share the berries among the three of them as thanks. Now, how many berries does Munchlax get to eat? Well, he gets one, doesn't he? Because there's three of them and three berries. All right, sweet. That's correct. Well done. There's only one question left. Okay. The third question. I love that first one. It's like, oh, look at these numbers. What was my, what's Snorlax doing, by the way? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Is it sleeping? There was one berry on a box. Okay. How many berries are in the box? I don't know. All right. Wow. Those were very weird questions. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably the best quiz thing I've done. What about you? I have to apologize, my voices will be pretty bad right now because my throat's still sore. Thanks you I was able to return to the underground. If you feel like it, will you help me with my research? I want a photo of Muna sleeping. It's not easy to take a photo of Muna sleeping. Maybe if you start snoring next to her, she might fall asleep as well. Okay. Muna. Was it Moon? Which one's Muna? Is Muna the one around here? That's Mushana. So Muna is the one around here, right? Where do you... There you go, Muna. Okay. How do I do? Do I, do I go to? Okay, let's go see her then. Um. Maybe I can work out how to do it. So if I sit here, will they just fall asleep? Oh. Oh man. Okay, if I if I like wait for a minute, will they do it? Okay, that may be asleep. All right. <laughs> but you better like this photo now. Yeah, I did. What are you talking about? I took a photo of her. She was like asleep. Oh, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. Okay, I'm gonna come back to that. Let me in the lab. 
What's gonna be inside the lab? Is it gonna be like terrifying, scary test subjects? Oh, it's a oh, it's a platforming bit. You're gonna have to use all the skills in our Arbory. Okay, <coughs> I'm ready. I prepare. I've been training for this moment when I'd have to get get back in the old platforming shoes. Spin us. Oh, there you go. For a minute, I thought that wasn't taking us anywhere. Right, so far, it's all, it's been all here. Because she's got the double jumps. Double jumps and the super dumps. That sounds gross. Right, Snivy. I mean, Tepig. Boom. Done. Oh, we can't open that yet. What do we need to open that then? Do we need to hit like multiple switches? Oh, there's a timer by there. It's probably important. Oh, god damn it. Okay, I'm definitely hitting jump there. There we go. Alright, so what's down here then? A berry. And. Someone saying Teppy. How is that even remotely useful? Oh, there we go. Oh, I don't need those clocks. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, well, it's pretty easy. The pray the Cy Syston Collider was that? Cytone Cyton Collider? Yo, I got that thing you wanted us to get. Well, thank you for your efforts. Now the portal will open. I must tell you that it will be too hard if you open it alone. The portal opens when everyone concentrates on their dreams. Any Pokemon can help, but little Pokemon tend to have big dreams. So it might be helpful to have many little Pokemon cooperating. Okay. Now, before we do that, who have we not befriended? <coughs> Gola, I can't remember what you wanted. I generally have no memory of what you wanted. It's been too long. Uh, I'm missing one there. Uh, I'm missing a bunch there. Oh, I know. Oh, that was it. Abra was one. I know how to get Abra now. I need to use one of those Clefairy dolls. Uh, let's go do that first. Well, no, you know what? Let's just go in. We'll get the rest of the people later. <laughs> I mean, there's not that many little guys, but hopefully they'll be fine. Man, I can't really imagine failing this. Like, in what world were you going to end up failing this one? 23,000. Where do they pull those numbers from? I didn't realize you could quantify friendship power in numbers. I thought friendship power, friendship power was unquantifiable. <laughs> Get inside of there, you lousy Pokemon. Hey Pikachu, remember what Kaverga said? Wish Park has four zones and attractions. We finally reached Wish Park's final zone. We're close to settling this. Oh, yeah, we are. Oh, look. Oh, there's Umbreon. Umbreon. If you play attraction too much, you won't be able to go back to the ground. What? What does that even mean?
Oh god, they're floating around. Oh Jesus, Umbreon seems okay. Why are the rest of them floating around? What's Umbreon doing here? Oh, oh my god, what is that? I recognize that. I remember having one of those in a Pokemon game. Siglyph. <laughs> Hard to believe Pokemon that opposers have come this far. What Kafega said. Uh, what will what will Kafega Chandelier and Govelitilia doing? Well, no matter. This flight zone is Wishpok's final defense. My attraction, Flight of Fancy, won't fall like the others. Great, another shitty attraction. Fly through the sky and collect a lot of gems along the way. Okay. How to play. Oh, yeah. Okay, this one's back. When you want to fly to the side to side, tilt the remote to the left or right. When you want to flip, fly. When you want to fly up or down, tilt it forward and back. This is going to be terrible. I can see it now. This is going to be a nightmare to control. Press two while tilting to the remote to move faster. Okay. Blue rings give you speed boost. You can earn more points for gems you grab before the boost wears off. All right. Well, Pikachu's the one sparkling, so Pikachu it is. I don't really know why some sparkle and some don't. You look at Pikachu. Don't look at me. Look at me with them hungry eyes. Hungry eyes. He's got hungry eyes. Alright, here we go. Oh my god, this is so weird. Oh Jesus. Actually, this feels okay. Oh, I missed those. <laughs> Oh my god, this is, okay, you know what? Despite being extremely weird as far as Pokemon challenges go, this is pretty cool. It is, oh god, it is motion control, so it is obviously quite weird to, to play. And surprisingly difficult. That man, this, this is. Oh, what? What even just happened then? Reload! Uh, hello! My name is Reload! Mm. Whoa, okay. Would you like some cranberries and crunch? I'm Reload. Did I just kill a Pokemon? Though? What is going on? And this level is extremely weird. Whoa. Reload. Mm. I think we've won. They give you a very like low. Whoa. Give you a very low number of um a very low number of of, of points to beat them though. Isn't it like fifteen thousand? Hey B, how's it going? <laughs> I really hope that um <coughs> part of the unlocks list I'm not to go back and beat. Those mini games of other characters, it would be so boring. What are you looking at, B? What are you looking at? <laughs> Just because you beat the Flight of Fancy doesn't mean you've won. Ring that bell or the Pokemon Zone will be, and will be captains of the Flight Zone. The real battle starts now. Okay. The real battle starts now, eh? Alright, let's do it. If you want to ring the wish bell, you must get past me. Oh, we're gonna go beat this guy's ass? Yes, I love beating ass. <laughs> Especially this guy's ass. <laughs> right, what's the little mission we gotta do first? Oh! Oh, we're climbing the tower. Oh, 
All right, I'm ready. Let's do it. I feel like I should be Pikachu to fight Sigliff because it's going to be the better of the two. That oh, worked out pretty well. All right, I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry, Ponyard. God, don't fall down there, please. Oh, God. It's cool. We're still going. Can you defeat me? Oh, we're fighting now? No, I can't. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, I misunderstood. Okay. I get it. I have to actually kill him to do it. Well, they're dead. No, what are you doing? What? For reals? Oh my god, I can't... Oh, dude, I fucking hate the controls in this game so much. Ah! Oh, that's useful. Great, I fell down whilst attacking him. Oh, congratulations, me. Nope. Oh. Huh. I'm trying to beat you. I don't know how much health you have. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no, I did not mean to do that. Oh, you know, you know what? Why, why, why wouldn't that happen? Why wouldn't that happen, huh? No one's death. No. Right, I'm ready. Let's go. Oh, God. Don't knock me down again, please. I don't know how much more I can take of this. I'm, oh, God. No, Tevik. Don't, don't do it. I'm at the end of my Tevik, man. Oh, my God. How much more is there left of you? Ah! Fantastic. Fantastic. Wow, what a horrible little mission. <laughs> that took me way, way longer than I expected it to take. Oh, wow. You made it this far. There's no way around this. I am now your opponent. Okay. I'm up with your opponent. I'm ready for this. Oh. Is it really in the sky? I could not have picked the worst character for this. I think like the one character who generally has difficulty hitting things in the sky. Dude, Pikachu is like tailor-made for this fight. What am I doing? No, oh, I guess we're doing alright. You know what? We're fine. I was kind of worried this would be a bit of a like a, a, a shit show with me using Tepe. He's probably the most annoying character to use. There we go. Butt stomp that boy out of existence. Oh, how could this be me? Me? How could I lose? How could I lost? How could I lost? I never said how could I lose or how could I lost now. Now I'm looking, I'm thinking about it. Like what? How could I lost? Tepig, I hate you, and I would like you replaced by the adorable Pikachu. Okay. Pikachu. We all know why Pikachu was chosen to become the mascot. He's cute as cute as buttons. Cute as a butthole. Cute as a little baby butthole. Baby buttholes are probably cute. I don't know. I haven't spent much time staring at them. You can't arrest me for that. Oh, Jesus Christ, cat. You scared the crap out of me. The baby butthole police had come to cut get me there. Jumping up on the chair behind me like that. Oh, don't stand on the keyboard. Don't stand on the keyboard. That's something that you do that Patty never did, and I don't like. Patty learned respect for the keyboard. You have yet to learn the respect for the keyboard. You gotta learn to respect the keyboard, okay? Master, I'm sorry, Master. Oh, how horrible. Wish Park, it's coming together. The entrance to Wish Palace is going to be opened. 
Oh, oh boy. Things are getting serious down here in Wish Park. Oh, look, shit's moving together. Meanwhile, B's getting a lovely little face check on. Oh man, look at this. Oh wow, look, they're all coming together. Well, this will be easy to get around here now. Someone know what's going on with uh, Disneyland Palace back there. Well, the single lifts at the entrance as Wish Park was opening. I'm gonna pay note stamp on the mixer. Oh my god, you're the most annoying. What have you pressed now? I don't know. If it has, I wonder where the entrance is. Hey, look, there's something in the middle. The Shining Palace is it's the entrance, isn't it? There we go. All right, all right, all right, all right. Well, all right, all right, all right. I think next time what we'll probably do is um, befriend Pokemon. Maybe we'll get inside of their next episode, but we might not. We'll probably spend most of the next episode befriending the Pokemon we have yet to befriend around the area. And then we'll check out which path. I think that's the end. I'm pretty sure we're coming to the end now. I know there's a bunch of, like, endgame stuff to do in this. We will uh, more than likely be doing that. But um, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Small session for me. Regular episode for you. What? This isn't what was shining. No, I don't... Are you kidding me? You're forcing me to go there? Wow, well, I guess next time we will immediately go to Wish Palace because this game is forcing us to go there, apparently. Pretty, pretty rude. Pretty mean and rude, if you ask me.